pay, let it be known. I'm working hard when I ain't on the phone. This ain't a hunt, this ain't a foe. Grind never stopping, I'm keeping it cold. Unlocking the door with the What's up, y'all? It's Elena, and I'm going to be reacting to It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, Season 7, Episode 3. Last episode, we went to the Jersey Shore, and the gang was on a toxic beach. Frank and Matt got lost at sea. Charlie and the waitress was chilling on the beach, and it turned out that she was on ecstasy, and that was the only reason why she was with Charlie that day. Um, And then Dennis and Dee Dee was just, y'all. Those two had the worst day of their lives. Like, these scout ripped off. They did angel dust. They got shot at. Like, it was a lot, y'all. It was a whole lot. And, oh, yeah, Frank and Mac ended up being on a boat with a bunch of guidos. And it was partying. They had the time of their lives. But, yeah, y'all, this season so far is hilarious. I cannot wait to watch this episode. I don't know what to expect because it's been crazy so far. But if y'all want to see my full reaction to this episode, check out my Patreon. The link is in the description below. Let's get into it. No, we never had no. kings in this country. No, no we, that, that was the whole point of this country is that we didn't want we a king. Oh, son of a bitch! Guys, guys, guys! Oh! oh. Are you okay? What's going on? Oh, oh my gosh. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. Oh, strange man. Titty bar. <laughs> Great investment opportunity. Oh my Let's... gosh. Beauty pageants so that this jerk gets pinched for coming on to one of the contestants. And now it looks like a whole scam. And if I don't legitimize this thing, everybody's going to think I'm just like him. Why don't you just drop the whole thing? I can't, Charlie. It's already going. It's in motion. Any second now, there's going to be broads walking through that door in swimsuits. Awesome. That's a good thing. Yeah, I don't see what the problem is here, Frank. Oh, looks like somebody forgot their swimsuit. Come on, girls. That's the problem. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just don't understand why y'all be having y'all kids in these bathing suits for these pageants just showing off their... What is, what is the contest there? What is the contest? What are we looking at? Which one look better? That's weird. That's so weird. Now I'm lumped in with a diddler. What am I going to do? This is a mess. Well, I don't know what the big deal is. You know, I did pageants all the time when I was little. And look how you the ended up. Deal? The big deal is that mothers force their kids into this so that they can dress them up like dolls and parade them around like sex objects. It's creepy. Thank you, Matt. You didn't force me into it. I entered them myself. Yeah, that's true. Actually, when Dee used to enter pageants when we were kids, Mom used to tell her not to waste her time because she isn't pretty enough. Mm -hmm. She would say that, and then I would jam it right in her face when I'd win them. How would you win pageants? Did you have a different face? <laughs> No, oh, she was a dog back then, too. It's just that she worked at it. She used to go to tanning, and you know, she practiced with her makeup. I'll give you that. You did a lot of that practicing. Thanks, Frank. Yeah, yeah you just <laughs> got to change your thinking about child pageants. I mean, child pageants, that's American tradition right there. Child pageantry? In America, we can show toddlers in tiny bikinis. We can make them tan, because that's our right mm -hmm. as Americans, okay? Child pageantry is an essential part of the American fabric. You know what? We should dress up our little kids just to show other people that we can. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I, I never thought about it that way. This is about freedom, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We can do whatever we want with yeah. our kids, yeah. and that's what yeah. America is all about. You know what you just did, Charlie? You just loaded up that train with coal, and now it's ready to tear down the tracks. Yes! That was inspiring as hell. No, it, it wasn't. Also, pageants. Let's do it, child. Let's do it, USA! 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 I want to thank you all for participating. I know some of you may have heard about that other guy. I am not going to diddle your kids. I'm not like that. That's not my thing. Oh I met that gosh. guy in a shitty bar. That's enough. That's, like a... <laughs> That's enough. Hi there. It just keeps getting worse. Pageant winner. I know how these things work. So uh, your kids are in good hands. Do I look suspicious? Bitch. You need to go to the hospital. <laughs> it's not grotesque. Magic night for us. A it's magical night. Magic's in the air. Magic's in the air. Ski the bow. This is fun. Yeah. We shouldn't be looking at this pageant as a problem. We should be looking at this as an opportunity to do something we've never done before. This is right in our wheelhouse. I'm having a blast putting it. Hey, I'm thinking maybe we could actually be in this thing. I'm glad you said it because I'm desperate to be in this thing. Oh, I didn't realize it was even a conversation. I always assumed we would be heavily involved. Oh, yeah. This is bad. <laughs> we got to definitely write a song about how we, we do not diddle kids. 
Do not diddle kids. It's no good diddling kids. There is no quicker way for people to think that you are diddling kids than by writing a song about it. You gotta write a song. It's just a, ooh, I wouldn't do it with anybody younger than my daughter. No, little kids gotta be big. Older than my wife, younger than my daughter, something like that. Don't write a song about that. No. I'm cloudy. I got a headache. You need to go to the hospital. Excuse me, uh, who's in charge here? Who the hell are you? That's whoever yells the loudest, but I am the only one here right now, so I am in charge. Oh, hi. Uh, my name is Walter Harris. I'm hi. with the Family Association for the Protection of Children. No. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm pretty much, I, I'm in charge of this, the chairs and <laughs> setting up the chairs, mm. I, but there's a guy, uh, uh, there's a, a fat guy. Uh, there his is face a guy. He's busted to bits and he, he's in charge. He's, he's the guy that you want to talk to. So how's everyone doing today? There's children in a bar. That's the Cafe first red flag. Huh? What he said? They're sick and the dogs after us. We're screwed. Hey, we're fine, Frank. Uh, those mothers just left their kids here in a bar with complete strangers and a pageant that's under investigation. <laughs> 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 They're terrible parents. Terrible. <laughs> this is a mess. Now, you pinned the whole thing on him, right? Oh, yeah, of course I did. Hey. Good, 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 good. <laughs> good. Pose! Come on, hit the line, get in line! What is this? Guys, we gotta put on a show! I thought you were professionals! That's what I'm looking for, and I don't see professionals. I see amateurs. Oh. I see trash. Oh. Little pieces of trash on my stage. You guys are okay. dummies, it's not even hard. You are dumb. It's not hard. Samantha's mean. Samantha gets to be mean. Because Samantha is a star, OK? <laughs> Maybe one day you'll be a star. But right now, you're not. You're junk. I have to go to the bathroom. You belong in the bathroom. Go. Let's take a fight. Let's take a break. I'm so upset. Are you OK? You're doing great. And we'll be dressed very stylishly for the performance. It's going to be a great performance, Walter. Very classy. Well, I look forward to seeing it. Just make sure that the children are featured. Hey, Walter, you want to come sit with yeah, us? Yeah, come sit with no, you lost him. Hello, everybody. He's all business, that guy, you yeah? know? He is all over us, man. we got to put on a good show, you guys. we got to. You're ugly. Oh, oh my god. That's not something you say. You, you're mean. You're the meanest girl in the world. Oh. You're driving me nuts. She's so horrible. I like your hair. It's dumb. Your hair looks like it's dead. Oh. All right, that's it. You listen to me. All hair is technically dead, you stupid idiot, smarty pants, stupid, stupid idiot. You better watch yourself, Samantha. Do you hear me? Because I am coming for you. Knock, knock. Who's there? Terrible breath. Oh, we gotta whoop that little child's ass. Because she got us fucked up, Dee. Can we just focus on something else? Sorry. Did you guys see the boy that's here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what's that all about? I imagine dad probably skipped town. Mom always wanted a daughter, so she sticks her little boy in the pageant, right? So she can play out her little fantasies about having a little girl. That kid does not want to be here. What it's Would you like to see my dance? Uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. I'm a Yankee Doodle Dandy, a Yankee Doodle Do or Die, a real life nephew of my Uncle Sam. I don't think this boy is being pushed into this at all. This is a boy who genuinely loves pageantry. Yeah. We should help him win. For once. Let's totally. let the boys in America win. Well, maybe we can make a few adjustments to the song, maybe update it a little bit. Yes, yes the song needs an update. All oh, these old no. patriotic songs need updates. My mom says I'm not pretty enough. Your mom doesn't know Dick. She's a dumb fat cow, and your sister. She is a stupid little shit mouth bitch, isn't she? You just said Ooh. a lot of bad words. Here's what's gonna happen, Justine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You are gonna win this pageant. You are gonna win this pageant, and I am gonna be the one who pushes you to do it. This is just gonna be a disaster. Okay, good. I'm here. Oh, oh on earth did you my gosh. Your face? I'd have done it at a funeral home. Why? <laughs> Why? Why? Well, where the hell am I gonna go? To the goddamn makeup counter at Macy's? You go to a funeral home to get gruesome repairs. Look, you look like you're at your own wake. My mouth is dry. Your mouth is dry. Go into the toilet and run your mouth under the sink. OK. Yeah, can I? Could I? Yeah, yeah, can yeah, I? Yeah, yeah. I have a. Yes. Who's that? He's the mortician. I invited him. Oh, you brought the mortician. OK, well, that's <laughs> not going to seem strange to anybody at all. I figure he's a cretin. Why would I have a cretin like that near me if I had something to hide? 
Associating with a man like that's not gonna make you look any better. Hey, 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 hey. you're on in five. Oh, whoa, good. Artemis, what are you doing here? She's working the soundboard, okay? I'm gonna go get high before the show. Okay. What's up? Of course. Yeah. You're making us look bad. Of course. Like pig. I gotta get my makeup redone. Okay, okay. showtime. Right, let's get ready, guys. Showtime. Give me a beat. D. 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 Mac, Mac, Dennis. Okay, hold on. Okay. Who's this, Charlie? Okay. Ba bum 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 skeetle bow. Magic's in the air. Magic's in the air. Magic silk is everywhere. Magic is running with dramatic flair. So everyone prepare for something special tonight. Your heart will go into a cardiac arrest. Cause Frank's there, oh yes! Yeah. Nothing but the from state to state. And town to town, these girls will turn your frown upside down. Uh-huh, uh-huh. With brass and glass and all that stuff, these girls will show you that they're good enough. I'm the only one contestant when it's Frank's there, oh yeah! Is that it, Arnold? Woo! Now that was Very good. nice performance, <laughs> very nice. And clean performance. Take that Welcome. shit off your face Welcome immediately. Show of immediately. A very, very, very nice. Which <laughs> one of these talented uh, entertainers? It looks like a vampire. I am not. Everybody, put your hands together and clap for the kids. Clap, clap, and you wave goodbye. Wave, wave goodbye. Go to your dressing room. We're gonna start the show. Go on. It's okay, just don't touch. Go to there. Go into the, their dressing room. Over there on that side of the stage, I am going to my dressing room. We will be right back. I'm over here. <laughs> oh, my hair hurts. I know, I know, mine too. We look good. Okay, finish up the car. Lee! Ugh, I don't like it. D. You do too like it. It doesn't matter whether you like it or not. You need to be high energy, okay? Do you want to win this thing or not? I don't care. Yes, you do care, all right? Pop your teeth in. Pop your teeth in, right now. Really? Let's see them. You look fantastic. Now let's go show those stupid moms, huh? Come on. Moms are stupid. Doi? I'd like to throw them all in the trash. Yeah! Wow. <laughs> They're nothing but a big, humongous pain in the butt. A big, humongous pain in my vagina. Moms are ugly. Ooh. How long is this damn pageant? Oh my gosh. Prepare for the future of patriotism. Yankee Doodle went to town riding <laughs> on a pony. Stuck a feather in his hat and called it back a Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I cannot. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Hey, hey, what is this? What are you people doing to my son? Highly inappropriate. Probably the kid. The kid definitely. It yeah. felt uncomfortable. But at a rave, I, I feel like that would have been awesome. I, I know, but the kids make it weird. It did get a little weird. I can't figure this tie out here. I got it. I got a question about the <clears throat> mortician. Oh no. Bang the dead bodies. Mm, no. I imagine, I imagine stuff, stuff like that goes on all the time. Right? <laughs> I, mean, I don't give a shit. I was dead. You bang me all you want. <laughs> Who cares? Dead bodies like a piece of trash. I mean, whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I don't know. I don't know how. You I don't know, know how it is. Fill me up with cream. <gasps> oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. What's yeah. the big deal? No, Bang me, eat me, grind me up into little pieces, throw me in the river. Who gives a shit? You're dead, you're dead. Oh shit. Is my mic on? Oh god. <laughs>
the, the janitor got a hold of the PA system, a Puerto Rican guy. Oh, so now we're racist. You know, the kids are great. Okay. Uh, I love the kids. Not in a sexual way. No, I'm, I was married 20 years, and she was a bitch, but she was old. And I never had a problem getting it up with her. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait. Walter, come up and help me and uh, uh, help the people. Let's just leave. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's, yeah. Go. Yeah, let's, let's go. go. Yeah, let me, let's pack our bags and go because this is this is ridiculous. Oh my gosh, they caught the cops. Oh, that's it. I'm done. I'm going away. I knew it. I knew it. Why are you taking Walter? That's why he was clapping. He's a diddler. Eating lunch with the kids. <laughs> you got your man. So. There's another unrelated diddler in the mix? Well, I mean, these things are just magnets for those people. Wait, wait, who won? Uh, I don't know, Samantha, she's the prettiest, yeah. right? Come on. Yeah. Yay, I'm the winner! <laughs> Let me cut this off because I can't, I cannot. But yeah, I knew that dude was a diddler because where you even came from? I knew something was up with him when I first seen him. And um, also when he was eating lunch with the kids instead of the adults. And he was like the first one to clap in certain parts of the show. Like, are you kidding me? You're supposed to be for the kids. This is supposed to be your job. And you walk in a bar full of children and didn't say nothing about it? Are you kidding me? That was the first red flag. This shit is shut down. Why are children in the bar? Like... Come on, bro. Put two and two together. You don't have to put two and two together. You walk in a bar for the kids. Call the cops. No parents there, no nothing. I knew he was a diddler. But yeah, I don't understand none of this pageant stuff. I never did. Even as a child watching like, um, Toddlers and Tierras. I think that's what the show was called. It was like, what the hell? Why are there, ch I, it just never was right to me at all. It's weird. But hey, I can't tell these parents what to do with their kids. All I can say is y'all crazy as hell. Cause I would never, ever. That opening performance by D, Mac, um, Charlie, and Dennis, that was cool. That song was good. Their performance was good. They were dancing, they had the vocals. I was impressed. I'm always impressed when they sing. Now, Frank, first of all, Frank. Frank is always getting involved with the weirdest people, the weirdest people. And now he got himself into this mess. He's getting his makeup done by the mortician. He's talking about having sex with dead bodies. It's too much. It's too much. I can't. No, still broken. Didn't go to the hospital. Bleeding all over the place. It's too much. But L parents, it's crazy how the parents are worse than the gang. And they could have gave um, Mac a shirt that fit. They have to do them like that. But I understand the joke, though. But yeah, yeah, this episode was crazy. If y'all want to see my full reaction to this episode, check out my Patreon. The link is in the description below. Thank y'all for watching, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Bye.